Just like this is the time of year for pumpkin spice lattes, it's a great time to get some butternut squash ravioli. But we're gonna put a little brown butter sage sauce over it. Let's get cooking with style. To get this rolling, I really like to get my brown butter sauce done before the ravioli. And today, we've got these ravioli that we picked up at Trader Joe's, but it seems like all the grocery stores have these butternut squash. Another thing that you can pick up at the store if you don't have your Grangetto's garden box with fresh sage are these packages of fresh sage. Do not use the dried sage, it will not work. So to get this started, I've got a full stick of butter in a pan that's on medium high heat. I like to have them cut up like that so that they melt at the same speed and I'm gonna put my sage in there so I can start to make it crispy and brown with the butter. So you have to pay really close attention to this because what we're gonna be doing is cooking out or cooking the milk solids in the butter to then have it turn brown. And if you could smell this right now, it's absolutely sensational. So we'll keep this going, stirring slowly over the next two to three minutes and it'll start to turn brown. I'll show you that in just a moment. So we're about halfway through the process and take a close look at this butter now. You can see how it's starting to become more just an oil. So we're gonna keep a very close eye on this and it's already starting to turn just a little bit brown but we're looking for a much browner look than that. And also at this point, your sage will start to get a little crispy. All right, come in and take a close look at this. You can see how that is browning up nicely. At the very last here, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic and we're gonna pull that off the heat. So this will be a garlic infused brown butter sage sauce and now we're ready to cook the pasta. Got my pot of boiling water ready to go. It's been heavily salted. This pasta cooks super fast. We're talking like three minutes. Once this goes in, Turn the heat down a little bit so it's just a gentle boil and give it a gentle stir so as not to break the ravioli. All right, it's been about three or four minutes. I know it's counterintuitive, but you only can cook these for about three, four minutes at the most. And when you strain them off, be gentle because you don't want to break any of those raviolis. From here, it goes right back in, give that a little shake, right back into our brown butter sauce. And we will give that a little toss and they will be ready to be served up. I like to do this family style, presenting them as far as putting them in a nice bowl. So we'll get this in this really pretty oval shaped bowl here. Make sure you get all of that beautiful sage in there. And now to kind of set this whole thing off, I like to use some freshly grated Parmesan. Now if you don't have it, don't worry about it. But if you can get freshly grated and have it at your house, it really makes a big difference because as you're grating this, you're actually opening up all the flavors that are in that cheese as opposed to it being in the container. I use the container cheese all the time, but for this, it's really something special. And of course, you'll leave this on the table for anyone that wants to have a little bit more. We'll finish that off with some fresh cracked pepper that I've already ground up. That'll add a little spice to it. And then of course, the sage on top, not partially because this is a brown butter sage sauce over our butternut squash ravioli. This is fall. It is fantastic. It is casual elegance. If you like this recipe and all the ones we're doing here on Cooking with Styles, go to cbs8.com slash recipes. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.